guys, uh, it's a 12.50 battle report today. Um, it's my Dark Eldar versus Dan's Grey Knights. Uh, Dan is the guy that used to play uh, Nids. So a lot's changed. I actually have a board now with scenery. How great is that? Um, it's been absolutely aged since we had a uh, battle report, but to be honest, I've been kind of lazy. Uh, so anyways, uh, I've got priority. My deployment is just taking cover, trying to get myself shot. Scourge is up there. Trying to get oh, myself yeah. shot. Well, <laughs> either way. Uh, Venom there, five warriors blaster, uh, witch raider, uh, eight witches, hectrex, agonizer, and a. I don't know what they call The bull guys that give Phil no pain. Anyway, he's got a liquefier gun. Um, another Venom with the five warriors blaster. This Hornet's filling up another Venom, uh, same layout as the others. This is a Ravager, and this is another witch raider with the same fill out as the first. So Scourge up here with two Haywire Blasters, Witch Squad there, Witch Squad here, first got the Warriors, second Incubi filling for another like Warriors, and we've got a, a Razor Wing that's going to come in later and hopefully kill people, who knows. Uh, do you want to do your deployment thing? Yeah, Dan's going to show you his deployment. Uh, <coughs> uh, I've got three Razorbacks. Only one of them actually has a model so they're all armed with uh, heavy bolters and side bolts for that lovely strength six. Uh, we've got a Grey Knight Terminator squad here with two halberds um, and a side cannon along with a chain of warrior thing for the Grandmaster. Um, in the Razorbacks we've got two strike squads both with side cannons and a purgation squad who's been played by a bunch of Tyranids. Uh, they have four side cannons and hope to put out a lot of nasties. Uh, this squad is filling for the green gene stealer is an inquisitor with psychotropic grenades, and the four gene stealers are filling in for def um, demon hosts. We also have one final hormogon posing as an assassin whose name I cannot pronounce off the top of my head. He will hopefully be going and doing killy killy. And I'll pass the camera back. Alright, so here we go. Uh, we're going to have a live dice roll to see who takes the initiative. So hopefully oh, Dan won't roll. It. Maybe a five will do. Ah, oh. four. Okay, brilliant. So, uh, top of Eldar turn one. Be back in a bit, guys. Hey guys, bottom of Eldar turn one. Uh, quite a fucking good round, actually. Um, so, these two raiders both combine shot and pop the first razor back. Um, exploding it and causing one wound um, onto the unit, but no collateral damage, unfortunately. Then the Ravager shot and hit a second, again exploding it, but caused a lot of, um, it exploded six inches, but didn't manage to do anything. Um, so the Terminators are a little toasty, but other than that, nothing really. It killed half the guys in it. True, <laughs> killed half the guys in it. Um, Razorback, the uh, Venoms, shot at the unit, taking the Psycan out, which is quite lucky. Which have disembarked from the Raider, left the um, Haymonculus in there to go around toasting people, hopefully. Uh, the witch unit's still embarked in this. These guys just moved 12 inches and just pepper people with their venom cannons. These chaps just shot at a vehicle and managed to stun it. Um, and that is all. So, uh, Grey Knight part, turn one. More to come, guys. Hey, guys, back to the end of uh, Grey Knight's turn one. So, quite an eventful turn again. Everyone basically moved up. Grey Knight's got a bit unlucky with their move through cover. Uh, they blew the radar out from underneath the uh, Haymunculi, but he's fine. He felt no pain. Uh, killed three of the Scourge unit, but still the Haywire Blasters remain. Uh, managed to take the weapon off this raider and then uh, stun it. Was it stun or shaken? Shaken. So it could still move. As I I didn't impair its transport. Okay, brilliant. So, uh, yeah, that just can't shoot next turn. This was fine, this is fine, this is fine. Uh, so yeah, basically massive grouped up guys there. I'm hoping my razor wing comes in. So uh, I'm just going to roll the dice out now so you guys can see. So I need a 4 plus. And we come in. Brilliant. Okay guys, so I'll be back in about a minute or two. Well, you won't fill the time. Anyways, uh, back at the beginning of Eldar turn 2. Hi, More to come. Hey guys, back with the uh, bottom of Eldar turn 2. Bloody hell. quite scary. Uh, bottom of Eldar turn 2. Uh, I've had an incredibly fruitful turn this turn. Uh, he just couldn't get the saves when he needed to. It's been really kind of unfair. Um, yeah, most of them will fail by one save. Like yeah, the, always. I only just have the one four guys dodgy dice. And I take 20 wounds, I'd fail four saves. Yeah. So it's nearly, but just not quite there. 
But uh, so the witches charged through and attacked the Inquisitor that was hiding there. The final members of the Purgation Squad and another Strike Squad, I believe. Um, that fella got rapid fired by all the three venoms. Uh, they pumped, had a lot of shots into his Hermie unit, destroyed all the Termies and uh, nearly killed him, but he still defiant. This unit charged in the other strike squad and managed to beat them. This guy just sat here and flamed. He's a troll. Um, like some yow, probably. Yeah, so don't be all trolling. Um, these guys basically, as I said, shot the Terminators. This guy flamed, managed to roll AP uh, 1 flamer, managed to wound um, a Terminator, but didn't manage to kill him due to an invulnerable save on the Grandmaster, and killed another Space Marine. This just fired some shots into the Terminators, killing one, I believe. Now, this was the real strike of the match. It came in, as you saw, um, got very lucky with the blast templates, and the reroll to hit a strength, the reroll to wound at strength seven, means a lot of saves are going to be happening. But uh, still got incredibly lucky, managed to do a lot of damage with this, just can pack out a hell of a lot of firepower. Um, but yeah, um, we've still got an assassin to come in yet. So this. The as terrible might of a tyrant of well, Hormagorn. Posing as a Calidus assassin. No, as a Calidus Cal assassin. Um, but either way, that's what's happened. So quite a good round so far. But uh, it can go either way. My guys can all just trip over and smash your teeth in or whatever happens. But um, yeah, I'll be back with the end of Eldar turn. Uh, Grey Knight's turn 2. More to come, guys. Okay, guys, we're back with the end of uh, Grey Knight's turn 2. Uh, this guy, he ran in. The Grey Knight Grandmaster ran in. Um, he knew his doom, so he wanted to take as many. He wanted to take as many as scum, scum as possible. Um, he ran in, tripped on a rock. His grenade fell out of his pocket, so he instantly hits us. Or what was it? Rewolves to hit. He re rewolves to hit, but unfortunately, he got a very cheeky uh, blade in his throat before he managed to swing. He's going, he had one wound left. He took, I think, four wounds. He failed one. Failed one, and the rest was strong saves, like four, five, and six. Um, but that one little blade got through, managed to halt him in his tracks. Um, this little pesky bugger came down this turn, um, and between him and the. Well, was he was now. the only one that had that squad. Yeah, he just came down, uh, done this electric thing, you know, the Terminator does. Hello, come Mr. down. No, you know, the Terminator out of the film. With a lightning and then just fried some of these girls and like, he's like yeah, brilliant. And he uh, blew their minds with this crazy leadership test thingy. It's pretty cool. He also managed to put a wound on this fella that's just kind of watching things happen. This fella shot at my uh, razor at my razor wing, uh, managed to shake it and immobilise it. So that's going to be out of uh, action for a while. Um, Either way, so we've got that one pesky fool there and this shiny uh, pimp mobile just to take out. Yes, by Hopefully turn we can two, this. I've lost almost all my army. Yeah, it just goes to show you just how quick Dark Elder can get across the board in the opponent's face. Um, but yeah, um, so the beginning of Eldar turn three. Stick around, guys, more to come. So, okay, uh, Dark Elder turn one. Uh, this guy survived. Uh, turn three, sorry. Uh, corrections for the win. Um, so this guy managed to uh, survive due to the fact I didn't shoot at him. I thought it'd be fun just to try and take him on my succubus. Uh, I flamed him though to bring him down so he's a bit burnt. She ran in, fell on a rock of course, and he Catan face sword her. don't know how he got hold of the said Catan face sword, but either way, rules are rules. So uh, she died. We but, have um, equipment from the defaults of Inquisition. Or something like that. <laughs> But whatever Matt Ward says. Um, anyways, so. Uh, this is the correct answer. Yes. He's the Emperor. Um, anyways, Grand Knight's turn three coming up now. More come, guys. So, uh, letting that guy live. Okay, maybe I may have humoured him, but I didn't realise he was that badass. Uh, he is really fucking gilly. He uh, flamed the witches and then uh, killed the Hecatrix, which was nice. But uh, just maneuvering my guys around a bit more, I just want to just like riddle him full of bullets to realise his uh, how he's gone wrong in life. But um, he'll probably make some crazy like invulnerable saves and want to win this. That would upset me deeply. Anyways, uh, so yeah, more of turn four now to come. Uh, so more to come, guys. So um, basically, uh, that's the end of the game. Uh, I managed okay. to just finish. 
I've just lost a game, and Everyone if any of you guys who follow my videos, game. which will probably be just me, but anyone unlucky enough to have to watch this video all the way to the end, you've now lost the game. Um, either way, so these guys jumped out and took care of the final rhino. They rolled up in the car and brought off the bridge. The old gangster way uh, flamed him, and it turned out to be AP1 and melted him. So uh, that's all. Um, end of the game, guys. Again, cheers for watching. Um, I'll try and get more battle wraps up again. Please ask me questions, I get incredibly bored. And uh, a cameo from my missus. Peace out, eight hour now. Yeah, I, I'm gonna really kinda edit that out. I really wish I'd edit that. And um, the cat that attacks me. Kira! Oi! Kira! Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Anyways, off topic like a motherfucker. So, uh, cheers guys. Thank you very much for watching if you got this far. If not, oh well. Anyways, guys, bye bye. <laughs>